Hello and welcome back to the channel. Today, we're taking a look at how to get started with Alacrity. For those of you who haven't heard of Alacrity before, Alacrity is a terminal emulator. But what makes Alacrity different from most terminal emulators is that it's GPU accelerated. So what does that mean for the average user? Well, it means that text rendering is insanely fast. To install Alacrity on any Linux distro, use your package manager to get the Alacrity package. On Manjaro, I can use Pacman to get Alacrity, and as you can see, Alacrity is a relatively small package. Now that we have Alacrity installed, we need to copy the default configuration into our .config directory. The default configuration is located in slash user, slash share, slash doc, slash alacrity, slash example, and the file is named alacrity.yml. By default, alacrity is actually quite pleasing to look at. And for most people, you could probably stop the configuration process here. If you don't care about how your terminal looks, there is nothing wrong with the default configuration. But if you like to tinker with things, then you'll certainly want to play around with this file. The config file is written in YAML, and don't worry if you don't know YAML, as the config reads like plain English. However, it is very picky when it comes to spacing. If the spacing is often the slightest, Alacrity will complain. Another thing to note is that Alacrity will use the new configuration settings upon saving the file. So there is no need to restart Alacrity, which makes it easy to see what your changes are doing. The first thing you want to edit is the padding Alacrity uses. By default, the text is slammed against the edge of the screen and it just looks awful. To change the padding, first uncomment the line that says window. An easy way to make sure the spacing is correct is to put your cursor directly to the right of the hashtag here and delete it. If you always uncomment lines with this method, then you'll always have correct spacing. After uncommenting the window line, we'll also uncomment padding along with X and Y. This will enable the padding setting and we can now set a custom amount of padding. Personally, I like to use 6 pixels of padding, but use whatever you think looks good. The next thing to look at is the terminal colors. Once again, the default color scheme is relatively good looking, but changing it is not that hard. The color settings are a bit spread out, which is annoying, but they are somewhat close together. The important settings are foreground, background, and the 16 terminal colors. Before we can edit any of the colors, we first need to enable this color block. Then we can go through enabling the various colors we want to use. To make things easier to understand, I just use hex codes, but it does support various color code formats. And finally, the last thing to take a look at is opacity. With this setting, we can control how transparent the terminal background is. Some people like transparency and others don't. But to enable it, simply enable the opacity option and set it to a value from 0 to 1. The lower the number, the more transparency you'll have. So that is a basic overview of how to configure Alacrity. And you can get really deep into the config if you want, but for most people, what we looked at is probably enough. If you liked the video, be sure to give it a thumbs up, and while you're at it, subscribe to the channel as I release new Linux content every week. That's all for me, and I'll see you in the next one.